Hey everyone, it's Jamala. Uh, today I am going to be reviewing uh, the Vanilla Soap Pony Fursuit Detergent. Um, so I figure um, Jamala needs a bath anyway, and now is a good time to do this. Okay, so we have our soap. I have a one-third measuring cup. I have my brush, because I'm going to brush her before I submerge. I am also going to spray her down with a little bit of this um, Clorox magic. Oh, excuse me while I knock everything over. Um, this is just going to help whiten up her fur a little bit. Um, so this is actually going to go on before, uh, before I wash her. Okay. Okay. So I've got her nice and brushed. Um, got my cap off because I have no depth perception. Okay, so we want one third of detergent, one third cup. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nice and full. Okay, and this is a travel tote because it's just easier to work with this than it is a whole bathtub. Um, you want cold water. Do not use warm water for your fursuit. It will melt the fibers of your fursuit. Don't do it. Cold water. Okay, and I'm gonna pour all this in. And I'm gonna like give it a swish. Make sure. Oh, that already smells so good. Um, I got the vanilla one, and it just like it smells amazing. Okay. Okay. Once all your soap is out of your cup, that can be set aside, and then you're just gonna kind of kind of slosh it around until it's all nice and incorporated. Okay. Okay. We got that nice and incorporated. Um, I'm going to give her her spray down real quick with the Oxy Magic. Okay, I have her sprayed down with the Oxy Magic. Ask your maker before you do this. Um, also, she has yellow airbrushing on her ears. Do not spray the airbrushing <laughs> with the Oxy Magic. It will strip your airbrushing. Don't do it. So I have sprayed her from like here down, mostly just in the white spots. Brush it in. I'm gonna let that sit for just a second before I submerge her very gently into this water. Okay, this is gonna be the, the part that's like a little harder to explain because of the camera angle. Um, I have a resin head and the face is painted. So I have to be really, really careful for the face paint and the airbrushing on the ears. So you're going to want to support your hand. Make sure I can get it in this wonky camera angle. Um, right here because the fursuit head is about to get very heavy. Um, I want to wash my elastic also, because it's gross, <laughs> but um, I want to try to submerge this head only where the fur is on the cheeks and neck. So, here we go. All right, in she goes. Okay, with one head supporting, um, I'm gonna try to make sure I don't put too much weight on this jaw, but I'm gonna start very gently submerging sloshing around, kind of bring this up on here. You probably only see the top of my head, so sorry about that. Okay, very gently. Okay, let me get this cheek. I wanna make sure I get all of that oxy off of there. Um, slosh, 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 slosh. Oh, this is gonna smell so good, it already smells so good. All right, I'm gonna try to actually avoid washing for ears for right now because they're not very dirty, they're not very sweaty. Plus, uh, I want to avoid washing any of the airbrushing. Okay, there we go. Okay, very gently. Washing off all the stink. Make sure I get the back really good. Switch hands here and get into like some weird position. Okay. Support that chin. Okay. Get some of that water in there. Right, 
very gently with butter shakers. Very gently squeeze some of that water out. I hope everyone can like see me with that as well. This is like a funky angle here. Okay. Alright, and now I need to dry my hand off. Okay. Um, I have dumped out this tote of all the soapy, dirty water, and I refilled it with um, cold, clean water. Uh, let's see. Let's grab Jamal, who is looking wet and pitiful right now. Okay, we're gonna give her a good dunk. Support that lower jaw. Okay, in she goes. Alright, support. Good cold water here. And this is just getting off any residual soap. Good little slosh around here. You can see all that soap coming off. Okay, I gotta lean her back just a little bit here. Because I have to get this lid back zipper portion. Okay, don't worry, I'm not putting her all the way under. Because I have to protect that face paint. Gentle swirling motion. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm ready to lift back up. Get inside, support, and lift. Because that fur is very heavy now. It is really saturated. Don't worry, I've got my hand inside and outside. Let that drain off for just a second. Very gently squeeze out a little bit of that extra water. You do not want to pull, because if you pull, you are going to rip seams, you're going to rip fabric, you're going to pull out pieces of hair. So this is like a lift and gentle squeeze to just get some of that excess hair or water out. You can see like all that soap that's come off. I actually may want to give her one more rinse. right now she looks like a pitiful like wet dog it's so funny she's like look at me i'm bald bald and wet poor thing okay back over onto the towel over there oh she's a hot mess okay i'm gonna dump this out and then fill it one more time to give her one more good rinse and then we can go on to drying I got her rinsed the final time. All the soap is off of her. Um, I have the tub turned upside down and I have her hood opened up. Just And I'm going to have her here maybe maybe 10 minutes, not very long, not long enough for her to dry because uh, her fur will kink like this. Right now she looks like a little bit of a hot mess. That is okay. This is just to help some of that excess water drain off without, without putting too much pressure on these seams here. So we got her mouth opened up. A little bit of airflow going in there. Get open. Ah. There we go. And she smells much better. Okay, it's a little loud in here right now because I have my oscillating fan set up. Um, it likes to shrink itself, so it's propped up. Okay, so you want you want your first suit propped up. Uh, I've got the the hood open in the back. That way, it's got lots of airflow through the mouth. The inside will dry. Um, as this is blow drying you want to periodically brush it. If you do not brush it, your fur will kink and your fur will look terrible. Periodically brush it and be very gentle when you do. Um, she'll be like this for about 15 minutes and then I will rotate her so the back dries. You know, 15 minutes, brush, rotate, 15 minutes, and this takes time. You want your fursuit to be completely dry because if it is not all the way dry, you are going to get a funky smell on the inside so make sure it's all the way dry. Okay, I'm back about two hours later, and you can tell it's two hours later because it's nighttime. Um, she's almost completely dry. Uh, I have now, I have the fan all the way up on max setting, and I have her very gently turned upside down. 
propped up with water bottles. Um, you know what? Innovation. Do what you gotta do. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for like these small seams to dry the rest of the way, and they are almost completely dry. This is also, sorry about the wind, um, this is also drying out the inner lining and all of this foam that's on the inside in case any of it got wet, which a little bit of it did, like down here especially. Um, but uh, uh, you want to make sure like all of your edges are dry, and especially this portion here where they, uh, the zipper is sewn in. You definitely want to make sure this is all the way dry because like when you're storing it, you don't want any extra moisture. It could cause mildew and it could cause funky smells and you, you don't want that. So I'm going to try to, so this is her all like sprawled out. That way it's like maximum airflow. Um, after this, once she's completely dry, she will be flipped over, brushed one more time, and she will also be sprayed down with uh, Spirit Wolf's Coffee Fursuit Spray by Norse Wolf. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I am obsessed with Norse Wolf Fursuit Sprays. I also do a, like, a review segment where I buy a bunch of these and I review the scents. And so far this has been one of my favorites. So, um, this leaves like a really nice, almost like a French vanilla after smell once it starts to fade. And, uh, so I'm, this is made with isopropyl alcohol. So it is really good disinfectant, so use this. And use this like after every suiting segment, after you wipe all the sweat and condensation out of the inside of your suit, this is really good to help kill any bacteria so you don't get that nasty gross mildewy smell. Um, but yeah, she'll probably be sitting here another, I'd say probably maybe 30, 40 minutes before because the, like these feel really 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 dry but I want to be completely sure so I say 30 40 more minutes and then she'll be flipped over put up on the mannequin head and brushed out one more time sprayed down with fursuit spray and disinfectant and she'll be good to go all right so here we are she is completely dry inside and out she's been sprayed with the fursuit spray um I realized I totally forgot to give any kind of review on um, the detergent that I use, the Soap Pony uh, Vanilla Fursuit Detergent. Um, you can get it on Etsy, I'll drop the link down in the description. Uh, but it cleaned her fur perfectly. She's super soft, smells great. Um, the vanilla was very, very subtle. Um, but she looks fantastic. Flower crown back on, eyes have been polished. Uh, everything looks fantastic and she has been brushed out and we are ready for our next convention Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative and I hope to see you at future conventions remember like and subscribe yada yada blah blah all of that fun stuff and you know bye bye